I'm Boris the Bee Guy, and I have USD Russian bees hosted in Lane's Horizontal Hives. Look at this perfectly round, nice, tight brood pattern built on this new Lane's frame. And on this overwintered Lane's frame, again, there's a perfectly round brood pattern. On my deep Lane's frame, the bees naturally built a perfectly round capped brood, and at the end of the season, they would set a corresponding perfectly spherical winter cluster. The spherical shape provides the maximum volume for the same surface area, so the spherical winter cluster would house the most bees with the least exposure to elements, because the spherical shape would retain the most heat. In other words, spherical winter cluster shape is mathematically the best way for the bees to overwinter. Compare that to the elliptical cluster shape that the bees are forced to build on conventional shallow Langstroth frames. Elliptical cluster shape has a greater exposed surface area for the same number of bees, and therefore is inferior for wintering. One Lane's frame is as deep as a combination of one deep and one medium conventional Langstroth frames stacked together. This conventional stacked setup in vertical hives does in fact allow bees to form optimal spherical clusters. However, a key advantage of a single deep Lane's frame is that it's contiguous and uninterrupted. In contrast, the gap between frames in a conventional two-box stacked setup can become impassable during prolonged cold winter spells, potentially turning into a deadly barrier that the bees cannot cross. This vigorous colony overwintered in a flat-roofed, double-walled, sheep wool insulated 20-frame lanes hive. And by May 1st, I had to dedicate three quarters of available space to it. I will be splitting it soon. And here it is again, a perfect circle of brood on a single contiguous 16 inch deep lane's frame. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe.